as the big storm that hit Melbourne today made its mark on the Ballarat races. Thunder and lightning sent shockwaves through jockeys, spectators and commentators, not to mention the horses, during the fourth event. But on a sad note, later in the day, the eight-year-old sprinter Burano snapped his hind leg after finishing second in the feature race and had to be destroyed. And the dividends today, the Quad Dollar 5192, $232.75, the Quad Extra on 1929, $967.20, the Daily Double was $4.85 on 1N2 and the extra double on a pair of nines, $69.20. Six lucky winners in... Melbourne suburbs copped to bucketing and at the Ballarat races the track was lightning fast. All available SES volunteers were called in as the storms blacked out homes and traffic lights. The roof of this two-storey house in East Coburg was blown off after the home was hit by a bolt of lightning. The State Emergency Service received hundreds of phone calls as power was blacked out from Doncaster to Ferntree Gully and in southern Bayside suburbs. Charles Jones had a lucky escape when his car was hit by lightning in Scoresby Road. A flash of lightning struck the wind window and just blew it right inside. And uh, that's all the remains of a windshield that was on there and you can see the remains of the glass. Passenger planes were grounded as Melbourne Airport was closed for 20 minutes. Moorabbin Airport was also closed a short time later. And the horses were nearly running for cover as lightning hit the Ballarat races. Two lengths to Benefactor Blitkrieg. The Weather Bureau says the storms were caused by an unstable air mass. President Reagan is expected to make a statement later today about the congressional report which has slammed the yesterday. Johnson was aboard the 33 to 1 chance Revelations who appeared to clip the heels of a horse in front of him soon after the start of the Slattery Intermediate Handicap. A Cranman apprentice fell at Bensdale in September 86 suffering similar injuries to yesterday. He was in hospital for five months. The news has shattered his master, trainer Bruce Purcell, who only returned home yesterday from hospital after he was kicked by a young horse. Johnson is the eighth jockey to die after a race fall in Victoria in the last ten years. Some tough words from the federal government.